I established an endowment for our daily bread in honor of my parents, the Carrion and Flayhaven Endowment. I did so in 2005, the time of my father's death, to honor what he did for my mother, who had died nearly 25 years earlier. Our daily bread began in 1981, and my mother, a parishioner of St. Louis Parish in Clarksville, as we all were, with other you know, parishioners, began the casseroles here for our daily bread. My mother died two years later, and in her honor and memory, my father always made a contribution to our daily bread around Christmas time. At his death, my family, my brothers and I thought, well, how best can we and I honor both my mother and father at the time of his death with the contribution he had always made so that we would always be remembering our daily bread in our own thoughts. So at his death, we established the endowment. And in lieu of flowers at funerals, as people typically might give, we asked them to make their contribution to the endowment. Several years later, at my 25th anniversary as a priest, in lieu of gifts, I asked people just make a contribution to the endowment fund to build up its principal. And through the years, my brothers and I and other family members, instead of exchanging typical gifts, sweaters, and stuff at Christmas time, we just, let's just make a contribution to our daily bread, being mindful of the poor, kind of in honor of our parents and their dedication to feeding the poor. And through the years, it just simply builds up. We started with a very modest beginning of an endowment, and through the years, it just slowly builds. And this past year, the foundation called and said it's now time we can make, begin to make contributions. And $1,000 plus was given to our daily bread, which is really more than my father gave each Christmas, so it begins very quickly and easily. I suggest it to you because you probably have grandparents, parents, siblings who give a lot to our daily bread in their own time, and maybe in honor of them, a birthday or their own death, you could create an endowment in their name, in their honor, con just making simple contributions through the years to the point where that endowment is constantly and perpetually, now and forever, feeding the poor that we will always have with us.